Today, I'm gonna bring in the Yealink 4K camera. Really tiny. They give you a module, a USB converter to type C, A to C. Yealink gives you an actual little bag so you could carry your, your camera with you. If you're gonna go to projects or you're gonna travel. Um, type 3.0. You see the actual shutter, they give you a cover for the actual uh, Yealink itself. Now, it does have a mount, if you guys can see that, and they do give you, uh, I guess, a set of microphones in here. And it's it's like a little transformer, look at this. It's all built in. Um, doesn't take that much um, real estate on your pocket if you put this. Uh, the cable's built in. There is nothing you can do on the length of it. It's about seven and a half feet um long uh we're gonna plug this in and see how well it works but um let's test it out it reminds me of the microsoft one so let's go ahead and test it out and see how well it looks all right we're gonna take a look at the yay link and, and this is it it actually captures the whole room um it's we're running at 4k the highest quality we could go at 30 frames per second uh, it's the smallest one of, of all that I've been testing out so far and it looks okay I'm actually running the microphone straight from there. There's actually a little green light I like the way it hangs on to the actual monitor, but let's go ahead and do the test on color testing If you guys can see it right now, I have lights on so we're gonna turn them off in a bit But we're gonna do a color tasting if you guys can see that um, Sharpness is not there like I was planning to have and let's see the the letter so I'm gonna go straight to you guys bring it back to me and then let's put it to the side so I don't block the microphone too so it's not that much you can't read some of the writing so if somebody's writing something in the board it's gonna be a little hard to do so let's do a green screen let's zoom in and do a green screen all right so the controls are not there I couldn't zoom in the actual to get rid of some of the framing on the actual green screen so right now we're just going to go to add a filter it to the actual camera and see if it captures anything well and then we'll turn it off and we'll come back with the lighting test so let's go ahead and add a filter this is for green screens if you're going to do a chroma key say yes and if you notice um, it kind of captures some of the stuff but it, it you can see a little line green line around it so it's the it's not a hundred percent good for for actually green screen because I do have a lot of a couple of lights too. So if you guys could see the green screen's a little off, it's kind of not where it's supposed to be. Now let's go ahead and turn it off. The filter, we're gonna go turn off the filter, and we're gonna go ahead and do a, a dark test. So let's go ahead and turn off all the lights. We have three controls here: one light overhead, another light here, and one last light. And this is, I'm just going to leave one tiny light so we can know that it, it, this is pretty much what you're going to be working with if you have a monitor in front of you. So we're simulating a monitor. That's pretty much it. The quality of it there is not the best, but it, it's supposed to be capturing a lot of good stuff. And it's good for TVs and monitors, like I said, but uh, we're going to have to see how the audio came out. So hopefully the audio is good. <laughs>